Hey ladies, happy Friday. This is Elizabeth. I just wanted to come in here and first of all say congratulations on almost wrapping up your first five days of your first challenge here with the Spring Into Fitness, Spring Into Health Challenge. I have to say that all of your posts, I am looking through your posts when I'm on my phone and I have this smile right here. Like, my my face my face hurts from what doesn't hurt but i'm telling you guys i'm watching and i i'm hopefully i haven't missed any posts in the group commenting on everything that you guys are sharing your foods your psychology your meals and today i am sharing um the three-day fix uh, meals that i'm doing for the next three days and i am a creature of habit so I know feel free to take a look at that and also wanted to let you guys know that any recipes that I share most likely I have a video on it and so you can go to my YouTube channel at Elizabeth Laguna Rocha or you can also go to my Fuego Fit Nation like page look this is pretty awesome it's reminding me to drink my Shakeology see guys I have alarms for everything so I want you guys to know that you can go to my like page hit like on that so anytime I'm creating a video or I make a post on my health and fitness page, you guys get notification, it goes through your news feed. Feel free to share any recipes to your page, that way you can go back to it and you're not you know, looking for it again and thinking, oh my God, she had this recipe and I really wanted to make it. And you guys know that one of the big reasons you are a part of this challenge is because you connected with me because of my foods, right? So. I want to make sure that you guys don't miss any of that right there. Um, I also wanted to come in here, like I said, to say congratulations on completing your first five days of your challenge. I want to go over three topics here. Um, the new meal plan for week two. Obviously, we have a couple days left for week one, and I like to share uh, the Friday before because I'm not sure if you guys go shopping on Friday nights, Saturday nights, or, or Sunday nights. And I do want to remind you guys that a big part of staying on track with your journey is to make sure that you schedule in your time, either in a calendar or, you know, or in your, in your phone, schedule in a time when you're going to go shopping. This is part of the time management part for meal planning that I am here to help you with as your coach. So I know that when you guys started last week, the most important part was to make sure that you got into a routine of getting your workouts done, finding a time that worked best for you, making sure that you drink your Shakeology every day, and then focus on getting your portions in. I know we can't get it all at once. It's only been five days. So if you are still adjusting to the routine, to your schedule, that's good. Just make sure that you are making progress if you're still struggling with your workouts when to work out when to drink shakeology if you're not eating enough because you're tracking them in your 21 day fix tracker this is a good time to sit down and think about what do i need to take out a calendar and write this stuff down maybe you do and i don't say you have to be perfectly organized but the nutrition part is a big component 80 percent of your results and as your coach, that's something that I'm here that I can really, really help you with, not only with the meal planning and the meal prepping. Okay, so the meal planning takes place before you actually get into the kitchen and start prepping your foods. Whether you portion out your, your meals or not, you at least have to have the right foods in your home. So that's gonna take some planning to go shopping, planning on what you want to make for the week if you're not following the meal plan that I share and also making the time to prep for your meals. Remember that on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific time, I have my nutrition call. So if there's any questions, last minute questions about your meals, your portions, Shake College, your recipes, or you're struggling, or you wanna share your journey and connect, I will do a live call and I will share the link in the Facebook women's group. Now I'm gonna go ahead, so I'm gonna talk about the meal plan. I'm also going to share really quick about our Team Beach Body blog, which is your our website where you can get a ton of resources on health, fitness, mind, body, spirit. You can see a lot of success stories on the different programs that we have. 
and just a ton of you know articles on if you're feeling sore what can you do my recommendation as your coach is that you don't skip the workout the next day because you're sore you're actually doing yourself a disservice you need to push through it because if you don't work out guess what your muscles tighten up even more you need more water and you need to work out even if you go slower than you did the day before do not skip your workout because you're sore. That's that's not okay. Okay, that's not okay. So please do not skip your workout. I'm being very honest about this because then you're going to keep doing that every time that you feel sore. I still feel sore and I've been doing this for four years. So trust me, the soreness just means you're working muscles that you haven't worked out in a long time. Keep going. Okay, so let me share with you guys the meal plan. Then I'm going to share with you guys the... Um, the, the blog and also remind you guys about submitting your results to the Beachbody Challenge after we are done with um, 20 with our 21 days. So let me go ahead and get to the meal plan. I'm going to show you where I have different groups here and I want to make sure that I'm in the correct group so that I can show you where you can find the meal plan. Okay, so you go to the file section. That part is in, in the home button. It's the little icon with the little people. And when you click on that, it'll take you to info and files. Okay, so here is the files, right? I'm there already. And then here is the meal plan. Now in the workbook, there's a sample meal plan. And, and so there's also this one here that I provided for you guys. There is meal, meal plan number one, meal plan number two, and then the third week or or whichever week you want to do this for you can start creating your own meals and what i mean by that is just writing down what are some of the the meals that you like to have throughout the week you may change it up you may have something different and you know what that's okay but let me tell you why i like this here i like this here a lot for my new challengers because it gives you an idea of what to have every single day now, for example, if you're not a fan of cooked spinach, but you love, you know, broccoli or asparagus or green beans or, or bell peppers, you can substitute those greens for something else as long as it's in your eating plan, right? Wh whichever program you're doing, um, Pile, T25, Turbo Fire, all of them have a food list. Now, you can substitute that for any of these meals here. You just have to make sure that you are staying within your calorie plan, whether it's plan A or B. And for those of you doing 21 day fix, it's A, B, C, or D. Now you see here at the bottom, at the bottom it has a section where it tells you like a few things you can prep ahead of time. And I like to make this here because, I mean, you slice up your veggies, you cut them up, you wash them up. Even if you wash up your fruit, I see a lot of you guys cutting up fruit for your kids and for the family and that's perfect because then you can just grab your container and portion out your amount and you can take it to work but if it's not cut up that's the part where it's hard so that's why cutting up your vegetables is prepping boiling your eggs is prepping grilling your chicken is prepping so here are some tips on some of the foods that you can prep now i love meal plan one i love meal plan two but I want you guys to see that as your coach, when we spoke, I said, I will provide you a meal plan. So you take the meal plan and you follow it. My recommendation is to follow it. There might be foods in there that you don't like, but you know what? If it's because you don't like it, but you never tried it, or maybe you didn't like it 10 years ago, it's a good time to change it up. Your body will adapt. You can add seasonings, flavor God, pink salt, cumin, pepper, all of that stuff to give your meats or veggies a different flavor. But don't be stuck in the same mindset that, oh my, oh, I don't like broccoli or I don't like asparagus. You know what? I don't really like broccoli either, but I still eat it because it has a ton of nutritional value, a ton of healthy calories versus empty calories, like a bag of chips, okay? Or lettuce. Lettuce has zero nutritional value, zero. Even though you're eating lettuce, it does nothing for your body. So you want to have kale or spinach or another leafy green. Okay, and so here's my meal plan two. 
And like it says up here, plan your meals and create a shopping list. So maybe you already have some of this stuff here. I love, love meal plan too as well. So what you have to do is take one of the meal plans, get your shopping list that's in your workbook, write down the ingredients that you need, or maybe you're gonna substitute, maybe you don't wanna do a veggie burger uh, for dinner on Thursday. Maybe you just wanna have you know, ground turkey or grilled chicken or steak, that's completely fine. But let me tell you why we meal plan. This is meal planning right here, writing down the foods you like. We meal plan so you're not stressed about cooking during the week when that's the busiest time of, you know, of the week for you. It's better to take the time on your days off or maybe you have an hour in between the week and you do your planning, you do your list, and you, do your pre you go shopping, you do your prepping, and you'll be done maybe for two or three days. I know some of you, just like me, we don't like prepping for the entire week. I'm okay with chicken and steak, but shrimp and fish, that I'm kind of iffy. But, um, but the other stuff, I'm okay. We prep carrots and you know have all our fruit. So again, I wanted to make sure and share this with you. And then we have the meal planner here that's blank. You can print out a couple of these and just create your own meal plan. Make sure you have a binder. You start putting together a binder of your recipe. So guess what? In April and in May, you can just rotate back to week one, but you have, your, or you have yourself mm -hmm. organized to create this habit so that you can reach your goals. That's the whole purpose. And then you create a lifestyle, you create foods that you love, but the hardest part is the beginning. And you guys are doing a great job. All of your meals are good. Now this weekend is going to be a test because it's your first weekend of this challenge. There's a restaurant guide in your planner. Um, also, if you're going out, you can comment in today's daily post in the group and let me know where you're headed to and I can give you some recommendations if you need some ideas. Um, but again, you're not alone on this journey. You can message me privately and hopefully, you know, it's not too late, late in the night where I don't see it. So um, again, I'm here to guide you and help you through this process. So never feel like you have to do this alone. And you guys saw there's some ladies probably that are traveling this week. So they're doing their best out of town. My recommendation is if you're traveling to pack all your snacks, to pack your Shakeology, and if you do stop somewhere to eat, just pick healthier options. You know, just you take your books with you, take your workouts with you, unless you have Beach Body on demand, and you can do your workouts online. Now, the other part that I wanted to share with you was the Team Beach Body blog. And the Team Beach Body blog is a is our website on our Team Beach Body. Um, account so all of you guys have your website and let's see here it's taking up a little bit of time to connect if you scroll down to the left hand side you'll see team beach body blog there's also message boards success stories fitness programs and i will remind i will show you where you can find the tally sheets okay the tally sheets are in your get fit where it says workout sheets okay so this is where you'll find the tally sheets for the 21 day fix program. Let me go ahead and click on it right now since we're here. So that way you can get them from your website. And what I love is, you know, I don't just hand them to you. That way you, you can like navigate this here. As you can see, there's all the worksheets here for all the programs that we have. For those of you doing Turbo Fire, look, here are your worksheets as well. T25, Insanity, and all that good stuff. So. Go to the 21 day fix and print out your worksheets. Let's see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the blog so that you guys can see where you can find some great recipes. Okay, Team Beach Body blog. So if you go to the Team Beach Body blog, it's going. Sorry for the delay. So here in the Team Beach Body blog, if you see here, you have nutrition where it talks about recipes, healthy eating, and for whatever reason, this website is taking a while. I know they've been updating it, giving us a ton of great resources. And so we also have here Shakeology, so you can find a ton of different Shakeology flavors. Look at this, for vanilla, strawberry, greenberry. You can also log on to myshakeology.com 
and it'll take you to the recipes. Now look here. Um, I love this because, let's see, here in Healthy Eating, 10 tips to meal prep without getting bored. Yay! So this here is going to give you some ideas on how to meal prep, which is the topic we're on. And as you can see, this is bulk meal prepping. They just cut up a bunch of vegetables, put them in containers, and then portion out the food as they go. Okay, so it's totally up to you how you want to meal prep. But the meal planning part is pretty much the same for everyone, except you have you just decide what kind of meals you want to do unless you're following the meal plan. So look at this, great stuff here, great recipes. I know some of you like to go on Pinterest, which I love Pinterest, and there's a ton of 21 day fix recipes, but you can do, you know, those are the best because it'll give you the portions, okay? Any recipe that you find here in the blog will come with a container count. So don't ever feel like you have to figure that part out on your own. That's why I love our blog, because you don't have to guess, well, how many portions do I use for this meal? It gives everything to you. So let's see if I can um, find something here. Let's see. Mm, see smoothies and, and all of this using your Shakeology. This is called bulk meal prepping, okay? So 15 healthy breakfast ideas. If you're getting bored of your breakfast ideas and you're not wanting to follow the meals in the meal planner, maybe you want to do two, but you want something else, look, you can find that stuff here. And here is the container count for each of the meals that you find on our blog. I love, love this. And this one here, this breakfast here is so easy. This oatmeal you can do in the slow cooker. So you don't even have to cook it. It does it on its own overnight. I mean, this is amazing, guys. Your Team Beach Body blog is perfect for your journey. You have me as your coach. In case you're looking through it and you have some questions, guess what? Hey, coach, I was looking through this. What do you think? What do I do here? You know, that's why um, this package that you got, your workouts, your Shakeology, your fitness, and the support is the biggest part, most important part, because you, I don't want you guys to ever feel like you're alone or that you have to do this on your own. Know that you can message me. Email me is the best way so it doesn't get lost in my messenger. And I will get back to you as soon as I see it, right? So um, especially if you send it during the day, I'll get to it as well. So let's see here. So that's all I have for the blog. I do want to make sure that I share with you um, the Beachbody Challenge, and the Beachbody Challenge, let's see here. The Beachbody Challenge is where you get to submit your results, your before and after pictures, after you are done with this challenge. Now, I'm talking about this now because I want you guys to have some more motivation to stay on track with your journey. Not only are you going to get healthy and reach your goals, but guess what? These were, this was my first, first ever transformation, 90 days. I submitted my results and I wanted the free t-shirt. So they'll give you a free t-shirt for submitting your results. And then I was a Beachbody Challenge winner and so was my husband. So at, at, towards the end of the year, I got a check for $500 from Beachbody. And now my story is it at the headquarters in Santa Monica. And I can always, always say that, you know, that this was my reward for my challenge. Obviously, my reward has been, you guys know, it's been a life-changing experience, uh, but it's really nice to see that my hard work for those 90 days, they gave me the opportunity to submit my results, and guess what? I earned some money for it. Now, here you see the Beachbody Challenge. So when you go to the Beachbody Challenge, it'll say take the challenge or go to Challenge Contest, and when you go to Challenge Contest, You'll be able to submit your app, your before pictures and your measurements. That way on day 21, you're just inputting your after pictures and your after measurements. And you'll go here to commit now if you haven't already done this. And then it'll t walk you through the steps. Okay, so make sure that you don't skip this part. I truly, truly want you guys to get your free t-shirt and hopefully... We get a bunch of Fuego Fit Nation um, sisters to be Beachbody Challenge winners. I'm going to tell you, this team here, our girls get amazing results. And I will always share your transformations in our private groups so that you can see that our programs do work 
and that you can also achieve the goals that you're looking for. So again, ladies, take the Beachbody Challenge. Commit to it now. And then at the end of your challenge, on day 21, submit your after pictures and your measurements. And wait for your free t-shirt. And hopefully, um, you will be one of the next Beachbody Challenge winner. All right? So $500 is the first one. Then they do 1000 And then they do, I mean, look at these. These results are amazing. And this is people doing these programs from home, okay? And you get to submit your results on based on different age groups. So you're not, you know, depending on your age, that's the age group that you fall under. So I'm telling you, this is good stuff. So again, if you guys have any questions about anything I shared, I apologize for making the video this long. I just wanted to get that info to you. Again, I hope you're having a great week. If you have any questions about any part of your program, Shakeology, the workouts, please make sure to reach out to me. In week two, you will repeat week one schedule. So tomorrow we have Dirty 30, and then on Sunday we have yoga for those of you doing 21 day fix, for size, crazy eight, for court of fours, we have active recovery on Sunday. On Saturday, I believe you have MMA power. So make sure you follow your calendar. Do not skip any workouts. Do not try to change around your calendar. The workouts are designed to help you achieve results. And if you're skipping around or doing too much doubles, your body will feel it and you'll plateau. So stick to the program. If you miss your workout, keep going on the calendar. Don't backtrack. And as always, ladies, um, on Sunday, we'll have the nutrition call. So if you are open, um, to, to please join us. It's only a 15-minute call. And I would love to connect with all of you. Have a great, great Friday evening. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you for everything, ladies. Bye-bye.